I'm Eric Phillips. I'm here with Greenpeace in Northwest Greenland, the ideal place to make some sense of the age of stupid. The Arctic is one of the places hardest hit by climate change, and our ship, the Arctic Sunrise, has been acting as a platform for a team of independent scientists studying the impacts on Greenland's glaciers. These glaciers not only hold gigatons of ice, they also act as a dam to hold Greenland's ice sheet in place. As the glaciers decline and retreat, they're releasing more and more fresh water into the ocean, which contributes to global sea level rise. The effects will render millions homeless, cause widespread famine and eliminate entire species. We've spent weeks carrying out cutting-edge research on Peterman, the largest floating glacier in the Northern Hemisphere. It's expected to lose 100 square kilometres of ice. That's a decade's water supply for Sydney. I've skied more than 5,000 kilometres during numerous expeditions throughout the Arctic and Antarctic. Each year brings new surprises. Severe storms rarely seen in these parts, vast tracts of first year ice where there should be years of accumulation. Temperatures are rising and black carbon belched out by our oil-driven economies can be found lying on the ice, even this far north. The veneer of fractured ice over the Arctic Ocean is disintegrating before my eyes. Scientists now agree that predictions for Greenland's ice sheet were far too conservative, which is why there's an urgent need for deep, mandatory cuts in greenhouse gas emissions if the worst impacts of climate change are to be avoided. We've been denying the responsibility and the urgency. Are we putting enough pressure on the people in charge? World leaders have the power and the duty to stop climate change in its tracks. Let's not shy away from this. We can save ourselves.